Hi everyone, today is National Entrepreneurs Day and this is a day that we celebrate the entrepreneurs in the world. People who are breaking barriers, who are taking risks and starting their own businesses, whether they've been doing it for 10 years, 20 years, or just two years like me. A lot of these people have grit and guts and great ideas and it is not easy to be an entrepreneur. So if you know a great entrepreneur, thank them today and commend them, shout them out on social media. Some of the things that I learned from being an entrepreneur, including learning from people who've walked in my shoes before, are the fact that you need to give yourself grace every day. It is hard to be an entrepreneur. It's hard to master everything. There are certain things I'm not that great at, like finances and operations and those sorts of things. So I outsource and I have people who help me. So find your strength. You don't need to go at it alone. And there are certainly things that you can delegate so that you can spend the time doing the high value things that really will make a difference in your business and with your clients. So strategy and ideas and client facing activities. So you don't need to go at it alone. And speaking of that, I have an unofficial board of directors, women and men who I trust, who I can lean on and ask them advice. And these people have been instrumental in my personal growth and my ability to be an entrepreneur. And so these can be people who are you know, obviously older than you've done it, but also I learn a lot from people who are former colleagues and who are even younger than me. So seek out your board of directors and don't hesitate to you know, ask them a question about something that's going on in your life. Something else I will tell you is that time management is so important. You can work all day long, but it doesn't, and all night long, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be incredibly productive. So I find that multitasking is actually the devil for me. Like I don't like to do it and I'm so much better if I focus on one project at a time. So that is something that's very important to me and I would caution you to do the same. One other thing is don't take on more than you can handle or if you are planning on doing that, outsource and bring on somebody to help you. You always have to plan for something going wrong and things do. And so build in some extra time because you're client facing and you really need to make sure your clients are happy with you because a lot of your work is going to come through referrals. It's going to come through word of mouth and that sort of thing. And then finally, I will tell you to make time to market yourself. So one thing I do is every week and every day, I do a marketing activity for myself, whether it's writing an article, speaking at a conference, offering a webinar, writing social media posts, which I stick to every single day. And I plan ahead as much as I can, but I can't always. So do this, market yourself. You're your own brand as an entrepreneur, so it's so important to be doing marketing. And I hope that you will make sure that, you know, listen, if you're in the enviable position of having a lot of clients right now and not needing more work, that's great, but there may be times when you will need that. So marketing yourself all the time is something that's very important. And you also probably want other opportunities, whether it's a board position or to be more elevated in an organization or write more, speak more, that sort of thing. So marketing will help you be found. So I wish you all a very happy National Entrepreneur's Day. And I want to thank all the people who work with me and trust me with their business. Reach out to me if you want to talk about becoming an entrepreneur or you have any ideas for how you can be a successful entrepreneur.